Dynamic views enable you to query and view relevant subsets of large data sets in charts that can be dynamically refreshed as selections are made. This enables up-to-date visualizations for high data volume or fast-changing data scenarios. Dynamic views enable you to connect a base app to another app. When you create a dynamic view, you select a template app and optionally apply a row limit expression to control how much data the dynamic view will access. Once the dynamic view is created, you can then add master visualizations from the template app to your sheets. This enables app creators to use master visualizations from the template app as dynamic charts in other apps. Dynamic views are made from three main components. Dynamic views, a mechanism added to base apps that connect to template apps and enable app creators to add master visualizations from the template app to the base app. Dynamic view template apps, a ClickSense app containing connections to data sources such as cloud databases. Dynamic charts, master visualizations in the dynamic view template app that can be added to base apps and that can be manually refreshed by users. In this example, we have an app where we want to include a dynamic view from a template app. So first, we are going to create a template app. This is an app that will supply our dynamic view with data and master visualizations. In this example, we are going to use the script from a template app that we have here. Copy the script and then paste it into the Order Details app we just created. Dynamic view templates can use a load script that contains data binding expressions. This is used to formulate queries on the data sources based on selections made in the base app. Binding expressions are usually created by users with experience writing ClickSense load scripts. The dynamic view script contains several different sections to generate the WHERE clause. In this example, we have three subroutines that will not require changing. The first subroutine specifies the dimensional values that are passed dynamically from the app into the detailed dynamic view source app via an inline load. The next subroutine dynamically constructs an inline load statement that contains all of the data items selected and associated from the base app passed into the dynamic view source app. The final subroutine in the process constructs the where underscore part variable that populates the where clause executed on the fact table select statement. Now we can start modifying the template script. Replace the your field references with the first field we will use in the where clause generation. In this case, enter product key and enable the values to be selected by association. Create a new field reference that will also be used in the where clause generation. In this case, enter customer key. Change the your field reference to product key and add customer key. Next, we need to add the folder connection details by populating the folder and fact underscore QVD variables. Add the folder connection details and the QVD file internet sales underscore fact dot QVD. Then add the load script for the internet sales underscore fact 
.qvd file. Change the from clause to use the fact underscore qvd variable and add the where underscore part variable to the end of the script. Next, insert the script for customer's products, product subcategory, and geography. We need to restrict these loads to items that have corresponding keys in the fact table. In this case, we add where exists clauses for customers. Now load the data. Once the data model of a dynamic view template app is complete, master visualizations can be added to the template app. These master visualizations can then be accessed through dynamic views and added as dynamic charts in other apps. First, we are going to add a table chart containing the following dimensions sales order number, sales order line number, and order date, and as measures, the sales amount, the order quantity, and the tax amount. Next, create two KPIs one for products and one for customers. Add all the visualizations you created to the master items. Now we are going to create the dynamic view in our base app. Open the Dynamic Views console from the Assets panel and click Create New. The Dynamic View should be set up to point to the Orders Detail app we created previously. Then, set the expression to allow the charts to be refreshed on no more than 50 distinct product names being selected. Now you can add dynamic charts to the sheet. Dynamic charts are derived from the master charts of a Dynamic Views template app. The initial rendering of the charts will show the constraints to execute the charts have not been met. Make a selection until the constraints have been met and then refresh the chart. And here you have the dynamic view that now shows the selected data. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.